Hello everyone. Let's talk a little bit about oscillators. They're timing indicators. Traders use them to time their entry. They use them as a tool to enter into trades. Oscillators have an overbought area For on this oscillator. It would be that line there and an oversold area. Oversold readings would be considered as a buy signal and overbought readings would be considered a sell signal. Using oscillators without any trend analysis or any market condition analysis can create some big problems. And that's where most people get into trouble because they assume that every oversold reading sh should be an automatic buy. Let's go ahead and buy. And um, using it in void of trend analysis, that's where the problems are generate. What happens is if the trend is down, oversold readings will in fact act as sell signals. Uh, I'm not saying that you should sell as soon as you get an oversold readings, but they are an indication of bearish activity when the trend is down. So what you really need to do to be successful with oscillators is have a method of determining the trend or an indicator to do that for you. Once you have that down, then the oscillator becomes a pretty powerful tool. You can achieve high probability trade setups. And when I say oscillator, I don't mean every oscillator that's included in most trading platforms because most of those are ancient. They're, they were designed 30, 40, 50 years ago. Uh, they're not going to be effective in today's markets, most of them. Uh, I may be wrong, but uh, that's, my, that's been my observation. Uh, but in general, I just wanted to cover what oscillators are. Now, this is a VB oscillator, which works uh, off of uh, the volume breadth indicator, works off of those indices. Now, you have r the indicator paints red at overbought and blue at oversold. At extreme oversold or extreme overbought, it'll paint white. These white signals are not very common. In fact, getting two of them in one day is is not common at all. So uh, what these extreme readings these extreme readings can be traded. Uh, again you do need to use other methods for example support resistance so you're not taking a trade that you don't understand. Um, but these extreme readings are quite powerful readings. They will for example this one here um, happened here. There was no confirmation via our confirmation. We look at these readings as buy sell signals, but we want to get a price action confirmation. But the second one here confirmed for us, and um, this one here confirmed for us too via our rules, which is discussed in the oscillator report. Now, again, as I said, uh, you can trade these white signals, these extreme readings, or you can just uh, let them guide, give you information, and then exploit that information, telling you that you know we're getting really, really oversold, and the potential for market reversal is very high. So you can use that information to possibly buy a pullback once the actual move occurs. L let's go ahead and uh, include some trend indicators. As I said earlier, that you need to use an oscillator in conjunction with a method of determining the trend. So what we're going to do is uh, combine the VB oscillator with the volume breadth indicator. Those of you who use volume breadth, you know when it's flat lines like this and it's red color, dark red or red color, that it's extremely bearish. So this gives us our trend, this gives us our context. We know right away uh, that we don't want to have anything to do with uh, buying the market. I've gone ahead and marked the sell signals that it would generate. Not all the sell signals are from the oversold area and um, we use it in other other ways as well so which we discussed clearly in the oscillator report. I'm not going to go over those at this moment. Um, anybody interested can have access to those oscillator reports which we discuss what we use as a confirmation once we get a sell once we get an overbought reading or an oversold reading. Uh, we also discussed some, uh, several advanced ways of using these oscillators. It's simply a 40 page manual with over 20 pages of chart with over 20 illustrated charts. Uh, 
which discusses how we use these uh, this oscillator and our other oscillators for high achieving high probability trades uh, well over uh, well around 70 or over 70 percent uh, uh, and if you're really good at using them and you understand the material you study it well from the oscillator board you can uh, achieve definitely 70 percent or higher now there's about 11 trades marked on this chart and only two of them this one here depending on how you trade you manage your trades it would either be a stop or a scratch this one would definitely be a stop for us uh, so 11 trades using the VB oscillator and the volume breadth as our trend guide one thing I should point out this uh, volume breadth is not in any way dependent on the vo this vo VB oscillator is not dependent on the volume breadth indicator so you can use this with our other trend indicators uh, you can use you can use it with the cumulative delta I have it here with the SDI you can use it with SDI I have it with the Z Keltner which is uh, gives you the advantage of the Keltner channel but it has a lot of other features on it one being trend detection uh, Zeke, the regular Keltner channel would tell you the trend is down if the moving average is down uh, which everybody knows you can't count on that uh, so this trend detection actually is uh, our proprietary technology for trend detection that's built into it ideally I would recommend to use at least two of our trend indicators so you don't miss good trades uh, for example volume breadth SDI or volume breadth cumulative delta or cumulative delta and SDI or any combination if you budget allows you then you can use all of them which that's the way we trade and that's why we have several different trend indicators because it's very difficult to have one trend indicator that tells you the trend and gets the trend right all the time and at the same time is not so strict that allows you to not miss good trades. So we use several different ways of detecting the trend: volume, breadth, SDI, cumulative delta. So <clears throat> Z Keltner. These are are different ways, and it allows us to have a reliable method of detecting the trend, but at the same time, making sure that we are able to take advantage of good trades when they appear and not miss them. So guys, that's pretty much it for the VB oscillator. I've showed you how you can use it. And um, if you guys have more questions, let us know. Thanks for watching.